Hey everybody, this is Paul from Guitar World. Starting this month, there's a new way to access the videos from this Guitar World disc through a brand new high definition media player called Guitar World Digital. Guitar World Digital allows you to stream and instantly watch Guitar World video content online as well as download videos directly to your home computer. With Guitar World Digital, you'll be able to store and view all your Guitar World media in one place Plus, you'll have access to previous videos from Guitar World and additional content not found anywhere else. To view instructions on how to download and install the player, check out GuitarWorldDigital.com. Hey, I'm Phil. And I'm Nick. We play in the band As I Lay Dying. And we're going to show you how to play parallels. Hi, I'm Jimmy Brown, and today I'm going to show you how to play Immigrant Song, that classic track that opens Led Zeppelin III. Okay, the one thing that makes this riff tricky, after all, I mean, it's just octaves, just F-sharp octaves, but the picking can be tricky because you have to reach up with a, with a downstroke to hit this high F-sharp and then turn around and play an upstroke. So it's... Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Hi, I'm Andy Allardort, and in this edition of In Deep With, we'll be looking at the guitar playing of blues legend Albert King. A big part of Albert's style is string bending, and he would bend the strings very often two whole steps, uh, or more very large bends. Dave Reffitt here, chilling out with Guitar World magazine in New York, and I bet you can't play this. So that starts out on the um, second fret on the E string, which is an F sharp, and you're doing three notes per string. It's sort of like a legato style, Randy Rhodes kind of riff, like you would hear him do something like that on Blizzard of Oz. Alrighty, so for this first song, Obsidian Conspiracy, I believe it was one of the first songs that I actually wrote for the album. So that beginning rhythm part that I was playing is the same thing that's going on underneath the solo. Uh, the only difference is that I'm ending it with a uh, diminished chromatic thing. Hey, it's Paul from Guitar World, and today we're going to be looking at an awesome guitar from GNL, the GNL ASAT Classic Rustic. Let's check it out. When Taylor first introduced this eight-string baritone to me, I have to admit I was a bit hesitant, but they said, simply play it and see for yourself. And let me tell you, this particular baritone is the most satisfying acoustic instrument I've come across.